You ready to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Come on. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Come on. What's up, makers? Today I'm going to show you some quick DIY tools to help you with your 3D resin printing projects. I'm Chris. Thanks for being here. Let's make 3D. When working with hollowed models, resin that leaks out of your drain holes can be annoying. Well, I've come up with a way to cure the inside of your hollowed out models. It may not do a complete cure, but the resin will harden enough to keep it from oozing out of your drain holes during post prep or painting. I'm sure many of you know about these UV flashlights. They can come in handy for curing areas of the model that don't get properly cured. Now you can use one of these flashlights to shine UV light on the inside of the model through the drain holes. You can also control the amount and direction of the light. All you have to do is attach some fiber optic filament. These are furniture foot pads that I found on Amazon. By the way, I'll provide links to all of the materials referenced in this video in the description. These pads are the perfect size to fit over the lens of the flashlight, three quarters of an inch. I cut a small hole in the center of the pad. I also found this roll of fiber optic filament on Amazon and I cut five or six strands, each of an equal length, about six inches long. I then inserted them through the hole in the pad and attached the pad over the lens of the flashlight. You can also glue the strands of the pad with a dab of glue on the outside. I didn't do that here, but if you do, I highly recommend E6000 clear glue. As you can see, this solution works great for shining UV light through drainage holes of all sizes, and curing the inside won't take longer than 30 seconds or so. In order to keep the fumes contained, some people tape the cover down while printing. I found an easier way to create a barrier without using tape. This is a sheet of static cling vinyl. It sticks easily to all kinds of surfaces without an adhesive. It's easy to remove and reapply repeatedly. You can get this on Amazon or at a craft store. It comes on a paper backing that you remove before applying. Here I cut strips about 2 inches thick and taped them together to make one long strip. Then I applied the strip around the seam where the cover meets the printer to seal in the resin fumes. Oh, and as a side note, if you're interested in these flame graphics for the Elegoo Mars, it's a removable vinyl skin that you can apply to the front plate. I'll provide a link to that in the description.
As you can see, it's easily removable and it can be rolled up and easily stored for the next use. If you'd like to add an extra barrier to resin fumes, cover the printer with a towel or thermal blackout cover. For those of you who are concerned about spilling resin on your touchscreen, this static cling vinyl can also be used as a screen protector. I cut another piece measuring 1 and 7 8 inch by 2 and 7 8 inch to fit the Elegoo Mars screen and it's a perfect fit. If you have been doing 3D printing with resin for a while, you'll know how sensitive some of these resins can be to temperature. If you do your printing in your garage or another area where it's hard to control ambient temperature, this little trick may help. Get some of these hand warmers and secure them up against your resin tray with tape. In my test, I used one warmer, but on the Elegoo Mars, I could have used two warmers, placing one on each side. The resin started out at the same temperature. I placed the cover on the printer without turning it on. Four hours later, the hand warmers were still producing heat and the temperature of the resin had risen to 79.1 degrees Fahrenheit, or 26.2 degrees Celsius. Again, covering the printer with a towel or thermal blackout cover should help keep the outside temperature from affecting your prints even further. While doing the resin warming test, I noticed a leak in the FEP film and resin had leaked onto the printer. There are numerous stories on Facebook of people who had resin leak into the printer between the LCD screen and the printer chassis. This often has resulted in damage to and subsequent replacement of the printer's motherboard. Luckily, I had these pre-cut vinyl gaskets applied, but if you don't want to buy anything, you can protect your printer by taping up the seams between the LCD and the chassis. Printing hollowed models requires you to create drain and breather holes so that you can drain the resin out. Chi2 Box allows you to print the plugs for those holes to fill them later, but plugging holes can cause problems for the model after post prep. Higher ambient temperatures will cause the air inside the model to expand, and if that air has no place to go, your model will crack. I found a really cool material that allow you to plug the holes without worrying about this problem. The stuff is called Foam Mo. It's a moldable foam clay. It's perfect for plugging holes because as the air inside the model expands, this foam will expand with it. This means that the foam will give way to the expanding air before your model does, preventing any potential cracks that would normally occur. It can also be painted and sanded during post prep. Alright, I hope this video helps you out. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, go make 3D.